So this question here has to do with EV depreciation. And so the question is, do electric vehicles depreciate faster than gas cars? And the short answer is yes. And I'm going to discuss some reasons as to why that's the case. Uh, first reason was that $7,500 tax credit. And so anytime these things were purchased and they go into the secondary market, the buyer would automatically deduct that from the price. So whether you receive that tax credit or not, that was being removed from the, the value of your vehicle. So that, that would be automatically $7,500 taken off the price of the vehicle. That's, that just increases uh, depreciation. The next one is batteries. And so there's a lot of fear and concern about battery life and the high cost of replacement. And so anyone buying these in the secondary market are factoring that into the equation also. However, none of that stuff is substantiated. In fact, all the research point to these batteries lasting even longer than what they first thought. Uh, there's a lot of research that's saying these batteries will probably last about 20 years. I'll, I'll last the transmission and the engine and the vehicle and plus battery replacement costs will continue to go down. And by 2030, they're expected to have price parity uh, with uh, a transmission or engine replacement. And then the next one is, is that there is a thing called the Osborne effect. And basically what the Osborne effect is that people hold off purchasing something because they expect something better or more improved product to be coming out. And one of those things is that improved batteries, lower cost batteries. You hear things like sodium batteries and all these other types of magical batteries that are never going to come out. This is a, These batteries are slow evolving technology. And it, so you're not going to have these big leaks, but people believe that there will be some type of magic battery uh, that's going to get way more range, 500 miles of range and charge in five, five minutes. That's probably decades away. So, but the Osborne effect is going to have people hold off their purchases. So they, and, and so when they purchase a used vehicle, they're going to automatically deduct that from the price because it's like, well, something better is coming out soon and my car is going to be obsolete. So that's just three reasons why, but a good way to get around this by just lease these vehicles, you know, lease them. Uh, if you want to get get one, lease them. And the, the other benefit to that is that when you lease these vehicles and go on a secondary market, uh, people who can afford a new one, now they can afford to use one. And they can get a lot of life out of those, out of those vehicles. And, and another thing about the battery is that uh, these things are warranted by law. They have to be warranted for at least eight years uh, or 100,000 miles. This Rivian on one t I'm sitting in right here. It's warranty for eight years, 175,000 miles. But if you, you want to test one of these things out or drive one, lease it. And I'm telling you, these things are awesome. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.